In this video, we're going to discuss the female athlete triad, and we're also going to discuss the male athlete triad, which is essentially the same thing, but in men, much less discussed, but um, let's start with the female athlete triad. So the female athlete triad is a syndrome of interla interrelated conditions, um, is the energy deficit, hormone dysfunction, and bone mineral density issues. That is the triad, so that's uh, these three here making up that triad. Uh, so excessive dieting and or excessive exercise can be the cause. Disorder eating may or may not be involved. Um, amenorrhea is likely the, fir the first warning sign that women are going to experience when they're experiencing the female athlete triad, and that's the reason why there's a lot more evidence on the female athlete triad than what I'm going to discuss next, which is the male athlete triad, because men do not have menstrual cycles to, to have amenorrhea. So much less studied. The awareness is much lower for this as well. Most people have never heard of it. Uh, the female athlete triad uh, results in amenorrhea, and as I discussed, the male athlete triad does not, and so we don't have a monthly check to make sure that this is not occurring in male athletes. Uh, the first warning sign, if any at all happen in males, is typically bone fractures, things like stress fractures, repetitive stress fractures occurring. That is a sign that they may have male athlete triad. Regardless of it's the female athlete triad or the male athlete triad, it's energy deficit leading to hormonal dysfunction, which leads to bone mineral density problems. Again, in women, they have a um, amenorrhea that occurs, and so they often have a, a regular check to make sure that this is not occurring, That and men do not have that, unfortunately. All right, regardless if it's a, a female or male experiencing the athlete triad, uh, they should get this addressed as soon as possible. Uh, treatment generally involves incre increased caloric intake or sometimes decreased activity because the primary cause of this is energy deficit. So too much energy deficit leading to issues with your hormones, leading to these other issues as well. In a separate video, I'm going to be discussing uh, issues of pregnancy and exercise during pregnancy. So make sure to watch that video as well.